Welcome back. We've just finished interviewing some great guests and we talked about some things in relationships where some people were sexually abused by their parent, some people by members of the church. So let's talk about it now. Let's talk about um, what are some deal breakers when it comes to relationships? And so one of the questions is who can discipline your children? So DJ, if you say you're in a relationship, because we've heard these women's stories, and for one, their own father basically uh, molested them. Mm -hmm. And so that's hard because a man is supposed to be able to spank the child, mm -hmm. you know, but these are girls. And mm -hmm. sometimes these are boys that it happens to. And the mother sits back and she's just trying to kind of, you know, take the submissive role. But she knows things are really not like they're supposed to be. And so they're closing a blind eye. Mm -hmm. Do you as a parent say, you know what, you can't do this to my child? Um, I think, you know, in my uh, I'm going to use my situation as an example. Uh, my wife and I. I handle the boys. Mm -hmm. She handles the girls. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Separate them. Think, yeah, and my, my voice is big enough mm -hmm. to deal with, you know, to deal with yeah. all yeah. of the children. But right. at the same time, you know, when I want to deal with my boys, there's a way that I'm going to deal with them. Okay. I'm going to handle them much different right. than I would my girls. Right. But um, at the same time, I try not to make a difference mm -hmm. in them, if that mm -hmm. makes any sense. Yes, it does. They feel, they feel the wrath. <laughs> as equally as the boys do. Mm -hmm. It's just when it's time uh, for them to be disciplined. When it's, and we have those times. Okay, it's, okay. Yeah, that's, that's just how my household is. Yeah. We do yeah. have those times. And when my wife is not around, yeah, I'm getting in you. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm getting in yes. you. But, you know, I'm a little reserved because they are my ladies. If right. You know, uh -huh, yes. right. Now, but these them dudes, I talk yes. to them like dogs. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> so, you you know, give them the real. Yeah, mm -hmm. So what if that would flip? What if you had, I always to, like to refer to, um, bonus children mm -hmm. okay I so do. what if you had mm -hmm. if your wife had an older son mm -hmm. in the household how would you discipline him i think it's important that kids understand that um this is this is an equal household mm -hmm. if i love her i love you i've absolutely. accepted you absolutely I've mm -hmm. accepted those things about you so um what I try to convey is, is that everything that I do, I'm doing it, doing it in love. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to punish you. I'm right. not trying to be your enemy. Right. I'm not trying to be any of those things. All of those things are going to happen. Mm -hmm. You are going to get punished. Yes. You will be disciplined. Yes. Right. But it's going to be in love. So it, I think it's important that um, that peace is established. The love peace. Mm -hmm. Is established because okay. kids don't mind this. Right, no, mm -hmm. no. They crave you gotta love, them. love. Yes, right. Absolutely. Yes, they crave love. So I don't think discipline. You know, discipline is the problem. I think sometimes we're absent the other thing. We're way too geared up to discipline. Right. And a right. lot, a less, lot less geared, mm -hmm. geared up mm -hmm. to love. Yeah, yeah. Just now, what, let me ask you, what about uh, when the male disciplines the kids, even as mothers, you know, mm -hmm. we're very, mothers are soft, you know, mm -hmm. and so we're very protective of our children. What about when the male, let me ask Nicole, I guess, when the okay. male uh, father or either a newly father disciplines a child and they're too stern and the woman can't handle that? How do you Ooh. deal with that in a relationship? And even for you, because mm -hmm. you know, when you're married and you bring in, we're talking about blended fa family, right, 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 and right. now you're having this with someone else's child, right. even though you're saying it's your child, yeah. mm -hmm. but they be like, hey, wait a minute, this is not how I handle my kids. Right. How do you handle that with your wife and your husband when it comes to this from your children? Mm -hmm. You know, that has to be, a, for me, it has to be a conversation before. That's right. Beforehand. Before it's you the, even get married, yeah, right? Mm -hmm. we're, we're not walking into that. And then you definitely want it to, um, follow with that with talking with the parents mm -hmm. you know if they're the outside mother right. the outside father because right. you just you want to try to avoid mm -hmm. um conflict All there conflict. <laughs> yes. right. mm -hmm. you want to try to avoid that so this is what we're going to do we're going to have a talk mm -hmm. hey what is acceptable what are you comfortable with mm -hmm. what right. is your style of discipline right you know what is and i'm going to ask what is your style mm -hmm. then this other parent needs to be in on that that's just how i see that mm -hmm. because we're ultimately raising this child together. That's exactly right. So to avoid conflict, let's have that conversation. Okay, this is this is what I do. But with boys, like <laughs> DJ said, for me, boys need a little bit more sternness, mm -hmm. especially when they are teenagers and they feel, get to smelling themselves a mm -hmm. little bit. And it happens. It's gonna happen. It just happens. So you need that. So for me, that's a conversation because I do believe in discipline. Mm -hmm. I do believe in talking with my children, mm -hmm. but sometimes, like you say, you got to put that foot in their back. Right. And you know what? Well, we're going to have a conversation. Is it okay for stepdad mm -hmm. or for stepmom to do the same thing? Mm -hmm. Once we've had this meeting and come to a common ground, then we can go from there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I think that's the same way I approached it. For me, it was, um, here's, uh, how, what do you think about this? Yeah. How do you feel about this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know you hear me screaming around this house. Yes. <laughs> She's <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Your children won't be excluded from the school. That's right, right, That's right. right. Everybody, no everybody's Do you hear me? Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm it's, not going to be mild over here. Yeah, and, right. And yes. I'm, a, I'm an old school parent. So yes. I'm just old school. Old yeah. Parent. 
Everybody gonna get it evenly. That's right. I'm gonna disperse it evenly. That's right. Mm -hmm. Everybody's gonna get a tag. Yes, that's <laughs> right. And I'm gonna love y'all. So everybody the I'm same. A, that's right. When I buy one pair of tennis shoes, everybody gotta get buy two. One. That's uh -huh. right. That's mm -hmm. how you have to that's do how you, that. Yeah, right. Well, you have to. I think once, you, especially once you start with the blended family aspect. Yes. yes. You have to start treating that child instantly. That's, I mean, immediately, because that child that. knows the difference. They know. They're going to sense you that. Know. Yeah. And then they're going to be like, well, okay, because even when you do get a blended family, and now you're newly married, you know, to people. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the other woman who has a kid by the other men, I'm often mm -hmm. reading these Facebook posts where they say, but he don't take care of his own kids that oh, way. I hear that. And that's really sad mm -hmm. that people now get married and they're like, man, I ain't got to do all that because no. I'm taking care of my home. That's right. But they're leaving their kids out. How do you handle now and look in your, my thing is how do men and women look in other kids' face and say, you know what, you matter, but you don't matter. Because now you're taking care of the household versus who you really have. I mean, it's difficult for me that's to answer. That's difficult. Yeah, because I don't feel like that. Because you're not like that. Yeah. yeah. I don't feel that way. yeah. But that's hard, you and know? I, I, think, I think what we have to be, what we have to be, especially in our community, is truthful. Yeah, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. truthful. Mm -hmm. We have to be truthful. Yeah. Even when you see those instances, especially because your friends do it. We mm -hmm. all have friends who do mm -hmm. that. Yes. yes. Are, you, are you friend enough? Yes. You know, yes. To say, say, man, you need to do something about that. So, yes. 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 You need to handle that. You need mm -hmm. to handle that. That needs to be handled. Yeah. And you, you know, don't want the kids to feel slighted. That's my That's main exactly thing. Right. You don't want any child to feel slighted. That's mm -hmm. exactly. my big thing. So I always take all that in consideration when building a family and, and blending a family. That's right. Make sure that everyone feels like, you know what, this is all equal. Everyone's being treated the same. One gets the same. Mm -hmm. Same discipline. Right. Same love. Right. Then, you know, and then a lot of times when you have that 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 baby mother outside of the home mm -hmm. and that child, you know, whatever the situation is, you never know that. You never know that. Mm -hmm.